Pet All The Dogs collection is now available. The link is in the description below. What is up you guys and welcome into our awesome channel. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to see our daily entertaining videos and make sure to hit the notification button to stay tuned. In today's video, we're going to look at a sweet story about a wounded dog and all the people who worked together to save him. A young great dam mix in distress was discovered by a group of cyclists in Columbus in Georgia. When one of the cyclists realized that the pooch had a broken leg, he decided to put the dog on his back and gave him a ride into the town to get some help. If the cyclists had not found him, his fate might be a grim one. When the cyclist and the dog got into town, they met a woman by the name of Andrea Shaw. Shaw was in Columbus, Georgia on a business trip. When the dog saw her, he jumped into her arms, almost as if he had picked her to be the one who would look after him during his time of need. And that's exactly what she intended to do for him. The dog had been found near a sewage plant, and Shaw soon realized that he was badly injured. Not only was his leg broken, but he was bleeding. In fact, he had blood on Sean when he got close to her. The cyclists explained to Shaw that the dog was homeless, and she knew right away what she had to do to save the dog. She adopted the pooch and named him Columbo, but she needed to get him some medical attention. Shaw took Columbo to an emergency veterinarian clinic. That's when she discovered that Columbo had multiple fractures on his leg and had a broken toe. It became clear that the pooch would need to undergo surgery right away. The surgeon had heard of Columbo's plight and decided to lend his expertise to help the dog. The surgeon rearranged his entire schedule so that he could be able to operate on Columbo. This made Cha smile because she was simply amazed by how everyone was eager to help her new dog out, so that he'd get a second chance at a happy life. The surgeon had to put a cone on Columbo so that he wouldn't try licking or biting on his wounds. It had become obvious to the vet and Shaw that the dog had gone through a horrible ordeal and needed to help recover both physically and mentally, but Shaw was more than happy to give this pup everything he required. Columbo was discharged from the vet and Shaw needed some help with his travel accommodations. Shaw lived in Maine and she was heading home that same day. So she got a couple of volunteers to organize some travel arrangements for her new puppy. And that included a kennel where he could be nice and comfortable. The volunteer placed Columbo inside of his van and drove him to what would be his forever home. It took a whole day, but Columbo had managed to arrive in Portland, in Maine, without a scratch on him. And Shaw was more than relieved to see the pooch, and now it was time to see how Columbo would do in his new digs. Shaw had a lovely farm in Maine, and like most farms, there were more animals there. Shaw had a total of two horses and two coon hounds, which was totally cool with Columbo because he got along with all of them. At least now he'd have some company when he went out to grab some lunch. Columbo didn't just have other animals to keep his company, but a human dad and a brother too. With Shaw and her family, Columbo wasn't going to have to worry about ever being alone again. And he was going to get lots of love, lots of petting, and plenty of company. Plus, Shaw had a lovely yard for him to run around, once his leg fully healed, of course. Shaw nicknamed Columbo Bo, and she considers him to be the sweetest dog she's ever met. It's obvious to her and the rest of the family that Bo is still in a lot of pain. It will take some time for his injuries to fully heal, but the pain doesn't keep him from being kind and happy and he loves giving everyone he meets kisses. As Bo continues to bond with his new human family, Shaw wants to help him get better. She's also gone on social media to raise awareness about dogs like Bo and the necessity to spray and neuter animals in order to reduce the number of stray animals in shelters. Meanwhile, Bo continues to sleep in a special crate while he recovers, but he's not alone. Shaw's five-year-old son doesn't want the latest addition to the family to feel lonely, so he'll sneak into the living room every night to sleep with Bo. 
She's also quite grateful to those who helped Bo because it's made her realize that there are some really good people in the world. So guys, make sure to leave us your thoughts on this great story of this rescued dog and leave us a like if you enjoyed the video and peace out.